At the top left of the Plant Object Settings dialog, you will see a button labeled Select a Plant. Click on this and choose Edit the Database. A new menu will appear. On the Descriptions page, enter the common name and the botanical name, including the genus, species, and cultivar. Enter a default code for the schedule. If you have already created a preview image for the plant, click on the Image button to select it. Please note, preview images must be loaded with your libraries. Type in the search name and select the plant from the list of images. Type in the size of the image and click OK. In the description field, enter a short description of the plant. This will appear on the schedule. If you know them, enter the container size as well as unit cost. Click in the menu to navigate to the dimensions page. On this page, enter a range of plant heights and spreads. The actual size of the 3D plant and the 2D symbol will be a random value within this range. Also, enter your plant spacing. On the Common Uses page, use the checkbox to indicate how the plant is commonly used. On the Seasonal Colors page, choose the options which best describe the plant, in this case, evergreen and colorful all year round. On the Hardiness tab, select conditions that suit the plant, including the amount of sun, the temperature, and any special conditions in which the plant is tolerant. Now go to the Soil Type page to indicate the plant's preferred acidity and soil type. On the 2D Symbol page, select the appropriate 2D symbol, in this case a flax type symbol. We will set the leaves to be quite narrow and increase the number of leaves. Choose pens for the outline, fill, and background of the 2D symbol. Here you can also choose a fill type and line type for the symbol. The final step is to select a 3D symbol. You can choose any 3D plant that is currently loaded in your library. Select a 3D plant object from the list. You can use the Filter on field to reduce the length of the list. Click on the 3D preview button to see how the plant will look. Now we are ready to save the plant. Click on the Save the Record button. You are given the option to create a new plant or to overwrite the original. Tick Create a New Record and click Continue to save the plant.